we had a pretty good offensive night, you know, 52%, 22 assists. Uh, but let's also give Green credit. He's on a run of about 19 assists and five or six turnovers the last three games. So despite where he's been, he's done a great job of that. And one of his turnovers was within the first three minutes tonight. So, uh, but it does really free up his shooting, you know, and, uh, and uh, he really shot the ball well tonight. Generally speaking, are you happy to be able to get a good chunk of the offense from the three-point line? Is that something you guys aim to do game to game, or is that more based on? The well, they were zoning a lot, you know, and the spacing was there. They were they were kind of uh, they started face guarding fat a little bit, and the floor opened up. But yeah, I mean, we're a good shooting team, and uh, I think I, I think we've been a very capable three-point team most of the year, and and missed a few open ones uh, early. Dakota didn't have he, he ends up three for eight, but I think he was one for five at halftime, maybe. Mm-hmm. And he had some good looks and was having trouble catching the rim. And I said, look, you all right? And he goes, yeah. I said, we'll shoot the ball in the basket. So, uh, you know, good job there. You know, they went to face guard and fat in the second half, and it's nice to have enough capable shooters out there with J.J. and, and uh, uh, Dakota and uh, Ott coming in to give you enough spacing that you can still get the ball into Dan and, and, and play. We just kind of took – I don't know if you saw, there was about eight possessions. We just took Fat and stood him over on the sideline there and just let, if they're going to go face guard him, then we'll play four on four. When you were able to get the ball with Moss inside, like you mentioned, he seemed to be at least pretty efficient with it. What did he show you with the size of energy? Best night he's had all year uh, in terms of patience at the rim. I thought I, he took the time to get to where he needed to be and finish at the rim instead of the turnaround jumpers and the fadeaways and the hooks. And he, he was really good there. In general, on the defensive end, it seemed the second half was better than the first. Were there changes or adjustments you guys made to get Well, we went, uh, they were driving us like crazy. And number one is a talent getting to the rim. And uh, he was really exploiting us off the dribble in the first half. And uh, came out the second half and got in there once. And then we just we just went to the zone to try to close up some of the, the lanes. And, you know, thank God, they, I mean, they shot the ball poorly. Uh, second half, 33%. So. Antonio, you guys get your first whack win today at home. What was that for you guys? Um, it was really important. Um, we've been, coach been stressing about it all week. Um, he told us it was important. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, coach always tells us to shoot. He, he don't never tell us not to shoot. I mean, it's just everybody's personal confidence in shooting the ball. I mean, everybody on the team, all the shooters are capable of making shots. So, yeah. In the second half, you guys seemed to do a little bit better on the defensive end as well. Was there anything you had to change or adjust to limit their scoring? Um, we just focused on it. I mean, we know that we we can always do better than what we're doing. I mean, we didn't do a good job rebounding. They had like 24 offensive rebounds. We could have done a better job of that. But, I mean, we just focused on what we was on defending. That's what the most important thing is. Your first whack win today, how important was that for you guys to get off the losing streak? Uh, it was very important, man. We needed that to get going, get rolling. We feel like we put a couple wins together, a couple next home games. So, see what we do with that. Play, try to play harder, play smarter. On offense, you guys got a lot going from the three point line, especially in the second half. Did you know that that would be there against this team? Yeah, because of how aggressive they is on the ball, we knew if we space out, we'll have open shots around the perimeter and inside, we had an advantage. In general, how comfortable are you guys uh, relying on the three point line for scoring? Is that a place where you guys can have some success offensively? Yeah, we're pretty comfortable with it. We, uh, we have pretty good three point shooters, jump shooters, so if we get open ones, we'll take them and we, we know we can knock them down.